Ah, oh, I'm getting there. We're getting there. It's looking good though. So, so where are we then in, in terms of magical crops? It takes so long for these essences to grow. I think we should probably just be growing some whenever we can. Like I should have grown some while I was building our house, I think. Magical crops, well, yeah, they do take a long time. But don't worry, we'll get there. We want plenty of these cold seeds. We want as many as we can get, really, so we can get all the all the coal essence we need to get to the next level of infusion stone. There's seventy. Some some of these are growing quicker than others. Oh wait, we need we need that fertilized earth, don't we? We need get... fertilized earth, but there is something else we can build to speed up the growth of plants. Oh yeah, what's that? Normally, like this rain would do it. For example, I think this rain might actually be speeding them up. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, that's cool because it's really annoying. At least there's some good thing about but it. But there's a thing called a sprinkler. A sprinkler? Oh, wow. That's, that makes sense. Now, for that, you will need to you'll need to make that yourself. Oh, I pressed the button that made me go full screen. Let me just unpress that. Okay. So search for sprinkler. Yeah. And uh, you will need to create one of those, and then you will need to have probably a water tank as well. And a water tank. Um, oh, right, underneath it. Yeah. Now, there's about three different types of tank that you can actually get. Well, if you type in tank, you can see there's like hundreds of types. But yeah, uh, the one you want is one called a tank. Yeah. From open blocks. Open block. Oh yeah, because yeah, the sprinklers. Oh, actually, maybe not. That uses obsidian. Okay, maybe not use that one. The sprinklers open blocks. Could I just use like a build craft tank, like glass in a donut? Probably. Yeah. Try that. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that first. Okay. Okay. See how that works. I'll make the sprinkler. I need a lot of iron for this. Luckily, I've brought a few bars and some redstone torches. Yeah. Do we have to feed? Do you have to turn these on like with a lever? Then can we have them on like a timer, like a real sprinkler system? I think so, um, but I don't know. Did you see any reeds, by the way? Did I see any reeds? Yeah. What kind of reeds? Like um, any like reeds, like for paper? Oh no, no, I haven't seen many at all. Uh, at all, any? That they're quite rare, actually. One of the things that creating all these biomes does is it can make some of the really common vanilla stuff actually quite rare. Okay, I'm going to go and have a quick search around, because I think... Oh, this rain's giving me a cold. Oh! I'm sneezing shit. You should, you should go inside the house and wrap up warm, Lewis. I'm running around in the cold, searching for... for I'm having to take a, a long route, circuitous route away from this taint. I'm jumping from tree to tree, like Tarzan. Oh. <laughs> oh, you should have taken the horse. Well, oh no, she's down a ditch. Um, Ow. We'll rescue her one day. One day. This taint is getting pretty bad. There's some spores and stuff I can see. What's a spore? I don't know. I think it spawns like these horrible little buggers. Horrible buggers? Is that, is that the official word for them? Yeah. A spore bugger. <laughs> Up. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting over to the village now. I've built a sprinkler and a tank, but when I put them together in the crafting station, nothing happens. You have to place the tank down and then put water in it and then put sprinkler on top of it. Oh, that makes sense. And I should put this on the farm, right? So that I can sprinkle all the all the dudes. Yeah, sprinkle all over them. Okay. So, ooh, but, ooh. Including the coal. Uh, What's the radius for these? It's three by three, I think. So put it maybe in the water next to the coal. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So replace one of those water tiles with um, a, a sprinkler. I can do that, right? So I've I've put down the uh, the tank. I'll I'll get some buckets of water now to fill up the the tank. It's possible that that will also irrigate, so you don't need to have the water source there. But I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so, because yeah, tanks don't suck water into them if it's nearby, do they? They just. We can use like an aqueous accumulator though, or something like that, couldn't we? Um, well, we could, yeah, but I think it's, there's a better way to do it, actually. I mean, aqueous accumulators are okay. Yeah. Um, but they're not the best way to do it. I can, I can, I could set up a, a, an automatic water. What's up? I'm being attacked by a, what are you? A baby zombie. Oh, God damn it. Oh my God, he's got a big sword, though. I'm almost. Where did he get that from? I don't know. Oh, and a bigger zombie. God damn it. Okay, that, yeah, we definitely got monsters on this server then. I think that they've come out to, they've come out to play now. Just gonna get my sword out, just in case. I've run out of food. I'm just gonna grab some food from the chest. Uh, I just fell in a crevice, Shin. It was very embarrassing. Oh, rescue the horse. Uh, Is the horse still there? 
I don't think so. It's just me. Ah, oh, what if it's wandered off into like a lava pit or something? That'd be horrible. Oh, I'm gonna have to nerd pole my way out. Oh, this garden's looking great though. I mean, it's not quite as colourful as it was when we logged back in, but it's looking pretty good. Let's just carve my way out with a hammer. So I was thinking the other day, uh huh, um, Lewis, what do you think would happen if? Got to be careful doing that, Shin. Well, I try not to too much because it can lead to disastrous things. Yeah. But what do you think would happen if um, the uh, one day a, a bear wandered into the Vatican and somehow became Pope? Well, I mean, that has happened. I think it happened in, like, 1567 AD. Did it really? Yeah. It actually happened. What did they do? Uh, he was Pope. He was a really good Pope. He was Pope for, like, 55 years. He got really old. Uh, he put some really good progressive policies in place, you know, that made sure the Catholic Church was looked after. That, that, that's, that's surprisingly responsible for a, for a wild bear. Well, I mean, he did put some weird ones in. Like? Like, he, he, he did eat several of the cardinals. <laughs> um, well, I, I'd call that reform. <laughs> yeah, 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 reform. He, that, that's what, I think that's <laughs> he the term. Very, <laughs> his, his, he was known for his period of reform. And, yeah, in the, in the... Oh! And strict regime and love of honey. I found a desert nova, Shin. It's weird. It's sort of giving me... It's giving sort of explosions. I can't put this sprinkler on this Billcraft tank. Okay, it might not work on that tank. You might need to find a different tank. I'm going to bust that tank. So we need to use an obsidian... Oh, we haven't got the obsidian to spare, Lewis. I know. I could either build a tank or I could build an enchanted table. Oh. What would you prefer? Oh, I... Oh, I don't know. Well, what, what do we need? The, we need the enchantment table for the force majiggy jig so that you can literally just move a chest without emptying it. Yep. Or we could actually get a sprinkler that will help us farm. Well, the... Am I back on Shin's farm? I think I'm back on the farm, Shin. Oh. We need a name for it. Should we just call it Shin's farm or should we give it like a fancy name? I think it's your... It's your... It's your... Um, your, your deed. Your... What's it called? Your your holding? Your land... Land holding? Your, My holding? Your sharing? What's it called when you get given like an allotted... I... It's not really an allotment. It's a lot bigger than that. It's a... Ah, reads. I see him. We've got spiders. Spiders in the forest. I've seen some reeds, Shin, on the other side of this, this place. Oh, good job. Good job. Yeah, because once you get, like, a couple of reeds, you can always, spo uh, you know, put them down and grow loads. Yeah. We should have a reed farm, actually. That's a good idea. We'll put a few reeds down. I'm going, This is the volcano area. we have to go over to here. Ooh, be careful. The, 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 th the tri-volcanoes. But it might not be that. You see, the funny thing is, is that if we call it the tri-volcanoes, it's like... Yeah. It's like in the real world... Like, we, we call it that because we can only see three, but there might be, like, 15, you know, we just don't know. But it will stay being called the Three Volcanoes forever. What what, what do you mean by the Three Volcanoes? I don't understand. Um, did you see there was a giant wickerman in your land, by the way? There is! Yeah, I don't know who's put him down, but I, he's quite pretty, so I, I wasn't going to do anything with him. Why, what, do you think, what, what can we do with him? Is he is he magical? Well, I understand that, yeah, he is a bit magical, I think. Can we do something with him? Yeah, I think he supports zombies, actually. Oh, well, um, okay. Well, he does typically. What are we going to do with him? Kill him? Yeah, see, there's a skeleton spawner here underneath him. If only we had Nick Cage. There are sometimes chests. He'd know what to do. I'll leave it there because it might be that you wanna, we want to we wanna make a skeleton spawner at some point. Are there any beehives near it? Uh, I can't see none. Good. Why? Because have you never seen The Wicker Man with, with Nick Cage? Uh, no, I haven't. Well, there's this horrible scene where um, where he gets um, a, a mask put on his face and then they fill that mask with bees. Oh, I remember this. And it's... Do you remember? Not the bees? The bees are friendly. Uh, they are, unless you're Nick Cage, apparently. <laughs> yeah, under normal circumstances. But yeah, when they're putting a mask with Nick, Nick Cage, well, yeah, you, you, can only, you can only take so much Nick Cage. There's a creeper on the other side of this canyon, Shin. Oh, keep your distance. Give him a wide berth. Is it, it's not a nitro creeper, though, is it? What's a nitro creeper? Is that like nitrous oxide? A nos creeper? I have no idea. I'm glad it didn't blow up, though, because it probably would have killed me. Yeah. Yeah, probably like even worse creeper. That's not a good thing, is it? I'm preparing the cotton fields right now. The cotton fields? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're punking down some dirt. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Because uh, I figure it's we. this farm needs a little bit of order. At the moment, we've just got a big kind of patch of... 
a crap, right? Which is okay, because crap's okay. Everyone needs some crap once in a while. Look, don't diss, don't, don't diss the crap. I like crap, but I just... <laughs> We haven't hardly used the house at all, have we? No, we haven't put a damn thing in. I don't think I... Did I put the beds down? In, I did put the beds down inside. You did? Yeah. Are they together? Are we, are we, or have we got, like, personal space? I gave it I gave it a little bit of space between us, yeah. Just enough to wake up, high five, and then, you know, do a hard day of work. But we're frontiersmen, Lewis. We need to preserve as much body heat as we possibly can. It's true. The, 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 it's very cold in the house. Yeah. What if the Pope comes to visit as well? I mean, and he wanders in and steals our food or attacks us in the night. Have you put locks on the doors? The bear, the bear Pope. The Bear Pope, yeah. Pope, pope Bearus the First. Bear, Berimus Maximus. Uh, it's a spider coming to investigate our farm shit. Oh. Well, spiders are friendly at the day, so... Yeah. Give me a little pat. There you go. Oh, oh he's a good boy. Oh. He's a good boy. He's a good spider. Oh, look! What's happened? It's a golden tree! Yeah, oh, the force tree's grown. It's nice, isn't it? I'm going to kill a spider because we need string. So, let's cut it down. Have you got an axe? I do. Chop it. Chop it down. Right. Ah, oh, nature's bounty. Let's see what he drops. Oh, look, the leaves are all glowy yellow and stuff. It's like a magic tree. Okay. So, ta-da. Grab that wood. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, there's, some, there's, a, there's a nugget. A little bit of a bonus nugget. There's a nugget. Grab, grab everything up. You'll have to do it to your inventory, I think. Extra saplings, too. Oh, I shouldn't have bothered making using that tool to make an extra sapling because um, we get so many saplings from this. That's true. We would have done, yeah. Anyway, I'll grab it up because you're full of crap. I'm, I'm full. I'm full. Um, so I can make force planks and then I can make force sticks. These are pretty trees, FYI. And then I can make, out of these force sticks, I can start making some force tools. Sounds good. Now, typically... You don't need to go through the whole rigmarole of making a force infuser. Why not? Which I haven't even done yet because it's too complicated. You can literally just start making tools out of force stuff. Oh. I think. So, yeah, there you go. There's a force axe. Ah, oh, and a force pickaxe. What are these things good for? Why are they good? Well, they're good because they look amazing. They do. Oh, that looks... That looks... They're actually pretty pretty good quality stuff as well. This is some spacey, spacey stuff. And also, you can put pretty cool upgrades on them that are unique. Like enchants? Yeah, like special enchants from the Force Forcecraft. What kind of enchants does that have then? Like lasers? Uh, uh, what? Lasers? Yeah, well, I don't know. Like I, When you say Force, I always think like... These aren't the droids you're looking... And, like, you know, Jedi, so... Yeah. I guess, like, future lasers and stuff, like lightsabers. Is, is there a force saber? Uh, I don't know. We could try. What is liquid uh, liquid force, then? Is that just Obi-Wan's PP? There are some force shears, and there are some force swords. Yeah? And there's a force shovel. I don't know if there's a force hoe. So is this going to be quicker than a normal pickaxe and a normal axe? I'm going to try it on this... Oh, on this tree. Now... It probably, it probably won't, it, until you upgrade it, it won't be very much faster. It's decent speed, though. It's, it's like an iron axe, really. It's not, not too bad. That's pretty cool. Well, anyway, anyway, we'll use some of those, and I'll, I'll get the force infuser, and then I'll show you how it works, because it's quite cool. Okay, cool. But I need to let these reeds grow up first, so I can actually get enough um, paper to get a book. So I learned from Simon. Really? I, I didn't know how to make a book. I completely forgot it was... I completely forgot how to make paper out of reeds. Wow. I couldn't figure it out. It's, it's funny, though. It's, it's, it's the vanilla things that you forget how to make. Like, I could tell you how to make um, an old industrial craft machine and all this stuff, but I could not tell you how to make, like, a book and quill and things like that. Yeah, that's just the way it is. Yeah. Uh, transfer node items. We should build a rice paddy as well, actually. So where's the sprinkler, by the way? Um, I've got two sprinklers. Okay. I'll give you one of them. But, uh, yeah, we, yeah, because I couldn't build it because the tank would not accept the sprinkler. What are the other tanks that you could build? Tank. We've got a ender tank from ender storage. We've got a detector tank from railcraft. Uh, another railcraft one. There is a thing called a fluid tank from mariculture. That looks pretty cheap. It's just wood and glass. There's a fish tank too. Fluid tank, mariculture. Yeah. Try that. Okay. Well, wait, we need copper, copper as well. Ah, uh, we got we probably got some of that. Have we? Probably dug some of it up. Copper, copper. Maybe we didn't get any copper. I didn't. I, I, it's not valuable enough. I didn't pick any up. <sighs> Damn it! It's a bit of a bummer. It's a bit of a bummer. All right, you might have to jump down into the old uh, crevice. 
Oh no, not with the with the Oris. Grab up some copper. And then we'll try we'll try using the mariculture tanks to see if they can hold the liquid for this for the sprinkler. Alright. I'll grab up some copper then. It should be quite quick to find some. I will work on making a transfer node for you. Transfer node. Right, so transfer pipes are just like everyday pipes, right? Ooh. Yes, we'll show you how to make them. They're relatively simple, actually. Um, so I need a block of redstone, some, some piping, some stone, some seared stone. Not seared stone, just normal stone. Um, redstone block. Uh, piping. I don't see any copper down here. What does it look like? It's like orangey. Oh, there's some. Yeah, you should you should be able to find some pretty easily down there. I wonder if the horse is down here. It's nice having a couple of crafting benches because then you can have like a couple of recipes on the go. You know? Yeah. And you can prepare things. You can put them in. Because the annoying thing about normal crafting benches is, oh, you put everything in and you're missing, oh, the glass, the last piece. So you, you quit out and all the stuff just falls on the floor. And that's so annoying. Yeah, that's really annoying. Um, here's some copper. How many are we going to need? Um, we're going to need not very much, probably. No? Just a, just maybe like enough for a few ingots. Is there anything else big that we need that, that I should be looking for as well? Anything that you can think of? Um, no. You sure? Okay. Okay. On the hunt. We just... <laughs> <laughs> just need what? a little bit of space. What do you call this? This isn't the space. This is a, a massive chasm. It's a gulf. 